All right, we're landed in Panama. Say hi, William. Sir. First time out of the country. We're in Panama. Well, hi Greenville, and I guess hi Rome, if uh, I send this to William. All right, we just made it through customs. Uh, William had all the problems this time, but uh, we're looking for a taxi over here. Um, none of us know Spanish, so this is going to be fun. I don't know a little bit, but... <laughs> We're not sure if that means trash can or bathroom. We, we just got off the taxi and uh, the airbags didn't work, but we're, uh, we made it safely. Nor the odometer. We were apparently traveling at zero kilometers. Yeah, yeah. The whole the, the speedometer didn't work. Um, Did I say who, odometer? Speedometer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who knows what else didn't work, uh, but we're here at the Marriott and it looks kind of American. Why isn't the basketball game on? Oh yeah, it's, it's the football game. All right, we're uh, here in front of the Trump Tower. Um, we just took a, a taxi ride. It wasn't as nerve wracking as I thought it was looking at the traffic. Um, Grant didn't want to go over bridge, but uh, we made it. Uh, we're gonna see if we can go up top. Um, again, none of us know English, so it, it's, it's not going too well. It, it could be better. Okay, we're in the Trump Tower. William, you have a book for this? Uh, I do, the Art of the Deal. You've been reading it on the flight, right? Uh, I was and, watching and the movie on the flight, but I read some of it. I yeah. read some of it just now. Yeah. We Which also found out we can't go to the top, unfortunately. Oh, there's a... We can see the ocean from here. Let's go look at the ocean. There it is. Yeah, this is the Pacific side. Oh, there's the city. Let's step up here. Oh, All right, we're here at, a, at the end of a peninsula. We can see the Bridge of Americas, and I believe we can see the entrance to the canal and a bunch of ships waiting to uh, enter. And we got a nice skyline. Of, uh, of Panama in the background. There's Panama. There's a uh, highway that goes, that's that we came in on. Those are the ships that are waiting. There's the Bridge of America. All right, uh, we just had some uh, frozen yogurt and uh, we're headed back to the pickup point for the tax taxi. Um, there's Gran and Liz behind us. William's in front. Got a fedora. And I, uh, I got a uh, Panama license plate. Uh, it doesn't say canals on it, it's one of the newer ones. Uh, but we're in, I think it's like the French Quarter. Uh, not too sure. All right, so we just had the first uh, part of the caravan tour where we're actually with other um, people from that tour and uh, there's like two people that are not senior citizens there's about what would you say 30 it's depressing yeah unfortunately we're uh, heading over to the mall to kill some time because there's nobody interesting to talk to uh, we're we're here in the mall and these kids have like little uh, battery powered cars i feel like this wouldn't fly in america because of lawsuits oh they're they have remote controls and they're using them what the parents yeah oh, that, at least some of the parents have remote controls oh well someone uh, the that 
that kid in the, um, the black one, I think he's driving. Something else I noticed that while we're here. Everybody still has Heelys. That kid behind me, the striped shirt still has Heelys. I don't know if he's Heely right now, but... Welcome to 2012. I think that was more 2008. Uh, I'll have to look it up, but it, it was forever. All right, we're, we're uh, exploring the mall, and first I'd like to mention the UHD TV. That is approximately 480p. Um, really stupid, but this is, this is uh, Sinopolis. Um, I have never seen a movie theater in a mall before. It is so weird and so foreign to me. Is, I think it's the most foreign thing I've seen here Word. besides the driving. And that it has two, it's a two-story movie theater. Yeah, you, so you get your tickets and you get on the elevator. And to get on the elevator, you have to get your ticket punched instead of going to the back like you do normally. Um, otherwise, everything around here is pretty American. Like, uh, you know, here's Overwatch being advertised for a GameStop knockoff. There's Converse. Uh, you know, generally very American. And even Under Armour is over there. You want to go in? Yeah, we're going to go in the video game store. That GameStop knockoff back there has officially offended the PC Master Race. No Steam cards, no Steam box, and no Steam controller. Man, shut up. Nobody cares about the PC Master Race. I, I care, okay? And and if they're trying to be capitalists, they should at least try to attra attract a, an audience from the PC side. Balloons! <laughs> Okay, we just crossed a 400-year-old uh, bridge that is in surprisingly good condition for how old it is, but there's a bunch of trash all over it because it doesn't seem like they give, give any around here. Um, but uh, this is apparently the Sacrifice Stone. Uh, they claim it's the Millstone, but they say it's the Sacrifice Stone. Um, Where we're going to kill Jordan later this afternoon. No, that's you. No, we gotta sacrifice you to the gods. We gotta please to make sure that it doesn't rain on our trip. The rain gods, yes. yes. <laughs> All right. So me and William just went through the first museum on the uh, caravan tour, and we saw a map of the city. It's pretty cool. Uh, it was the old map, old though. Map. And we saw lots of pottery stuff, silverware, and then we saw a dead body. Yeah. That skeleton, I should flash it on the screen now. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Alright, we're here outside the Panama Canal. We haven't actually seen much of the canal. We saw a big ship. Uh, seen a big ship. Yeah, we'll, we're, we'll get closer in a minute. Um, Looks like it's about to rain soon, so. Yeah, I don't think. A little bit of time. Yeah. Elevators are for so, losers. We're not lazy Americans anymore. No, we're, we're uh, Panamanians. Look, nice ship. And uh, around this way? Yeah, yeah. And we are using the stairs. What? How would you translate America to be like Panama? It would be Panama? Yeah, Panama. Panama? <laughs> Drop the peak. Yeah. All right, we're on here, here overlooking the middle of the canal. Looks like it's starting to rain. This guy's shouting gibberish because we can't understand a lick of Spanish. Um, Water's rising. Here's the canal. Uh, might do a time lapse here in a second. Stay tuned.
All right, we probably just watched the time lapse. I don't know if I'll put it in a separate video. If not, it's in the uh, upper right hand corner up here. Just clicked the little eye. But uh, we are heading back down to watch a little movie about the Panama Canal. And uh, yeah, update you, update you later. All right, we're uh, back in the bus. We're still at the Panama Canal, but we're about to leave. Uh, stop it. And uh, it's actually really impressive to watch the, the ships move. They move really fast. Like you look at them for a little bit and you don't realize how fast they're moving, but then you think how many thousands of tons they are and they're, they're flying. Uh, I think the announcer said they go 36 inches a minute, up or down. It's, it's really quite astonishing. Uh, it's all powered by gravity, if I'm not mistaken. That's America for you. Yeah. America engineering. Um, but this new canal that's bigger than the current one is is uh, right over on the other side. It's, it looks more impressive. So I can't wait till that opens. It's bigger and better. Just like America. Yep. All right, uh, we just crossed Panama. We're on the Atlantic side now. Uh, we're in the city of Cologne. Yep. And uh, there's not there's not really any taller buildings around. It's yeah. Relatively all flat. Nothing yeah. Here. Interesting. Yeah. So we're going to the supermarket. I'm here at the uh, new Panama Canal locks. Uh, for the Neo Panamax ships, it's quite impressive. Uh, you probably just watched the time lapse. I ended it because it's starting to rain. We're about to eat lunch. I gotta go find William. Not sure where he went off to. Um, yeah, really impressed with the size of this new canal. Looks pretty cool. It's supposed to open in about two weeks. We missed the opening. Um, no ships going through, but still interesting to look at. We're here uh, still in front of Gatun Lake. I just ate lunch and uh, just took a time lapse during lunch. Oh, here's William. He's got to be part of the vlog. Oh, yeah, he's doing Sudoku, but it's uh, really hot and humid out here. They let us, they told us that uh, we're supposed to get an idea of how the people who originally built- I saw built... a sloth! Oh, yep. Flash that on the screen now. Okay. So you'll probably see the time lapse of uh, the ships just moving around on Gatun Lake. Uh, but it's it's really humid here. The, um, the person who set up the movie told us to, um, you know, get an idea of the people who built the Pan Panama Canal and the conditions they had to deal with because they're the same as they were now. And Jordan's resting. Yes, and I, I'm resting. We're, we're all taking a break here. Where's mine? See that? Yeah, 
Okay, me and William are here in the new room at the uh, Rainforest Hotel, uh, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, Better than awesome! Yeah, so here's the bathroom. Uh, it's got you know, a cool sink, this little outcrop, nice and large. There's the toilet back there. And uh, the room is huge. And then outside on the balcony, you got this really cool view of the rainforest. Um, well, if this door wasn't locked. No, you have to push it. Oh, okay. It was locked. Okay. Was it? So, hammock, view. I'll post a panorama about now. All right, we're here uh, on Lake Gatun, still waiting to get off the bus, but we're gonna get on a public, uh, like, sort of ferry type thing uh, with about 200 people on it, and we're gonna ride from Lake Gatun down the Gatun Locks into the Pacific Ocean, and it's gonna take, they said about seven hours. Um, might do a time lapse for some of that. Slow and or steady. All of it. Slow yep. and steady. Uh, Update you later. Okay, hey, me and William are here at the uh, Panama Canal, currently Grand Two. Uh, we're about to enter the first lock, headed down to the Pacific side from Gatun Lake. We're going to be going through with a dry goods carrier that doesn't quite fill up the lock, so it saves uh, water. And guys with the blue shirts, yeah, I have the time lapse running. I'm not sure how it turns out, but that should be coming up next. Sideways rain. It's blowing around that ship in there. Not in the best conditions to be doing this for a time lapse. Sorry if it doesn't turn out. I don't think it will, but I'll try.
Panama Canal pilot transferring over back to his ship from our ship. I thought that your job was hard. Jumping over now. And they're pulling away. sat through a, uh, I wouldn't call it a lecture, but it's sort of like a lecture. They, they told the us about that. History lectures dash dance. They gave us the history of the village, what they do, uh, what they eat, yes. and how they get their material, mostly from Home Depot. <laughs> but um, shh. no, uh, they, they get a lot of the, the coloring from around here. Um, but it's very, very tribal looking uh, way of life, but uh, we're, we're getting left behind, so we gotta start walking. Uh, and William, don't slap me for this, but I'm going to uh, play a little clip with the dancing, and- uh, Hey, you told me to hit you every time you Yeah, but, but this time it's easy, because it's on my phone. But uh, we'll update you when we get to our next destination, or maybe on the bus, I'm not sure. All right, me and William are getting off the bus at the uh, Westin Hotel. We haven't even entered the lobby, and I can already sweet. I can already see a great view of the ocean. It's supposed to be a uh, beachfront hotel. Uh, great view, free ice cream. It also food. means it does a lot of business. Yes, uh, he's been reading the art of the deal. Um, I'm almost done. Two more tests. Yep. Uh, update you later. We're out here. Uh, exploring the Hilton and its surrounding property. Gorgeous beach. Uh, we're looking at this outcrop right now, but uh, it's got 22 floors. Uh, we're gonna go up there later. Um, it's got three pools. One of them goes around a restaurant. And uh, well, not completely, but no, I think completely because there was bridges to get to the restaurant. Yeah, but when we pass the cornholes. You lot, if you saw, it was walled off. Oh, well, gives the illusion of it. 
Um, and uh, our bathrooms are European style. So, uh, or not bathrooms, our uh, rooms are European style. So you have to put the card in to turn on the electricity, which I think is pretty neat. William doesn't seem to like it. Uh, neat concept, but I don't know how our phones will get charged that way. Uh, yeah, I'll probably uh, update you when we get to the top of the, uh, the 22nd floor. All right, I lied, not the 22nd floor, but it's better. We came out to the end of this uh, like peninsula with all these rocks. The view is excellent, more than 180 degrees. You can see the ships uh, behind me, uh, as you just saw the hotel. Uh, the Panama Canal is behind me over here, and uh, we just traversed all those rocks behind us. Great view. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. 360 panorama because my phone cannot go that far. William's out doing the water aerobics class. So is Grand behind the instructor. Sorry for the short combined video for two days, but today was more of a relaxing day, so nothing much happened. To make up for it, I'll post two time lapses from this evening, uh, but tomorrow should be should have its own independent video, and it should be its last video unless I do one about the flight on Saturday.